I love this girl. So, uh, okay, I'm going to get right into it. Today is our book club, and today's book is going to be, well, it says he's just not that into you, okay? But it applies to women. Obviously, it's the exact same thing. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put that here so you guys can see it, and the link will be in the description box later on. And the reason I got motivated to do this is because I got a... Um, email request for uh, advice from this guy who said that he's been with this uh, older woman she has five kids and uh, lately he feels like you know the, at first the chemistry and everything was great and now lately he feels like she's blowing him off and how does he know uh, this is not my book this is a book by uh, Greg Ben 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 I don't know I can't pronounce his last name I'll put the description I'll put it in the links below it's called he He's just not that into you, but it applies, obviously, to, you know, to the reverse. Um, and Liz Tuchilio. Okay. Anyway, um, well, I'm going to first say hi to everyone, and then we'll get right into it. Sorry if the stream is not great, but I'm, you know, just adjusting to my Chicago home right now. So let's see who we have in our live chat today. Like usual, I'm having a hard time uh, even... Okay. So we have crazy people going on here. Make sure you like the video too, by the way, if uh, if you haven't so far. Um, okay, where, how do I get this thing in? All right, here we go. So good afternoon and good morning to CKA, Mr. Pirate Brain, 242TEO, Brendan, Jose, um, Paul, Bryson, Juan, A.S. Rose, and, oh, someone who's actually in near me in Evanston, um, our H. Stillman, and all the people that are joining me here on Instagram from all over the world. Good morning, Bowman, and everybody else. Do I know Janet Mason? I'm a big fan of Janet Mason. I'm assuming she's a porn star. I don't know why I got that idea, but I think so. For, okay, so before I get into this book, I'm going to talk to you about a motivational uh, entrepreneur who I really, really think will help everybody on this. It, and his name is Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. So search him out. Um, he's awesome. I really think you can apply all the concepts that he's using in his videos um, to relationships. And the reason I say that is because his whole thing is um, getting the confidence in your own, you know, passions and following your dreams and working really hard. And all those concepts are similar to what will help you in relationships. So go watch Gary V. Get motivated. He'll motivate you in the entrepreneurial part. And I'll deal with the relationship and sex issues here and older women fixations or whatever else you're talking about that you want to talk about. But anyway, back to what I was saying about Gary V. I really, really respect him. And he said that what he likes to do is educate, entertain, and inspire. And pretty much that's what I do too. Um, okay. Baby girl is here. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, okay. So... There's a uh, cuckold couple from London. We loved your rate video related to cuckold. Please post more. I will definitely do that, submissive man. Um, apparently, that's a big thing right now. Um, and uh, I never really understood it. The first time I actually got a letter from someone about it. Um, but lately, I've been getting a lot of people that are really into having um, polyamory and having multiple people in their love life and sex life and the reasons that they do it and the submissive and the dom and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I will do that. I'm not moving to Chicago for good, Mr. Pirate Brain. I'm only here for the summer probably. Um, hi, Michael. Uh, oh, thank you. The book by Greg Ber... I can't even pronounce it. I'm sorry. I suppose Ben... Behen... <laughs> ben... All right, whatever. Greg B. was better than the movie. Okay, I didn't even see the movie, but I just like, you're welcome, submissive man. I just like a lot of the concepts because of the the email that I got from this one dude. 
Um, and I can read you a little bit of from his email, which is, let's see, Instagram people are not going to like this, but I have to do this. Um, let's see. Okay. So here is what he asked me. And normally I just send them over to Patreon to go through this, but I thought I'd like to, this could help a lot of people. So I'm reading, uh, what he said. Uh, okay. His name is Christopher and he's the, the subject line was unsure if she really likes me. So I met this 45 year old woman on a dating site. We've met, uh, hung out a couple times and we developed feelings for each other. Something happened in between the, uh, the, the, the communication between us as well as become uh, dry. She's a mother of five, so I respect her priorities and motherly duties, and she's a bit mentally stressed due to her ex, house payments, etc. But um, I'm confused because I'm a young guy, and what would be the signs that she's definitely lost interest in me, whether she is too afraid or incapable of being upfront about it. Um, I don't want to get a big head about it and become obsessive and jealous or any of that. Just really... I. I I really do like, and she really likes me. I just need some clarity, please. So, um, I'm going to hopefully did not, sorry about the Instagram situation. <laughs> uh, I had to put the Instagram people on pause just now. Sorry about that. Instagram people come back. Um, just so I can read that. Okay. So anyway, uh, hi Canadian daily and cherry boy. Okay. So here's the deal. When it comes to this, especially, you know, she's not that into you or he's not that into you. Um, I totally believe in direct communication. And I think most older women, and that's one of the reasons people like older women, is because older women don't play the games that younger women do. Um, but on the same token, if your relationship is much more important than to her than it. I mean, she's got five kids. My guess is her priorities are her children, especially if she's having to deal with it all on her own. She doesn't have a lot of time for relationships. So maybe all she has time for is a companionship, sexual relationship with you, Chris. And that's what's holding her back. And the reason I brought this book up is because you could take out any, I could take any page out of this and it applies to her, okay? So if she's not calling you, it's because you are not on her mind. And I have to say that that's true. If, if someone is into you, she's going to pick up the phone and she's going to respond to you or call you or text you or something. She's not going to just kind of like blow you off until like two weeks later. Cause I mean, it may happen that two weeks from now she calls him or texts him or whatever. Um, and that might be cool. But if you really want to find out, I would just go ahead and ask, but all these things, I mean, if, if someone is into you, no matter how busy they are, they find time. Here's another one. If I were into you, you would be the bright spot in my horribly busy day, which would be a day that I would never be too busy to call you. Okay? So, I mean, when I was dating my boyfriend initially, he was from New York and I'm in Chicago. He literally, like, flew for one day just to surprise me from New York to Chicago. So if he's willing to fly, you know, thousands of miles to see me, Obviously, he's into me, right? And that would be the same for people that live very near, you know, the same city or whatever. If they're into you, they're going to make an effort to see you uh, or text you or call you or something. Just so you have some sort of like interactions, you know, maybe not on a daily basis, but at least, you know, every other day, no matter how busy you are, you can have time for a text. I mean, back in the day when there were no cell phones and stuff like that, it was a different story. Maybe you would talk to them once a week or get a letter. Um, but now there's so many ways that you can interact with people that, you know, you would think that sometime during the day that person can make the effort. And I think that's a big part of it is usually, um, you know, women are waiting for men to maybe make the first move, but with older women, especially, I think older women are not shy about saying, what are you doing on such and such a night? Um, you know, especially, you know, if your relationship is pretty cut and dry, that it's mostly a companion sexual Friends with benefits, that kind of relationship. Thank you, A S Rose. So it's pronounced Be Rent. All right, Be Rent. Okay, so Greg Be Rent and Liz Tuchilio wrote this book. He's just not that into you, but I apply this 
exactly the same thing to women. So if you are a guy, and most of you are guys, um, you could take any page in this book and apply it to your relationship. And then if it, it sounds similar, assume that she is not into you. Um, you. You can't talk your way out of a breakup. It's not up for discussion. A breakup is a definitive action, not a democratic one. Okay? Um, let's see. Okay, so she's just not into you if she only wants to see you when she's drunk. If she likes you, she'll want to see you when her judgment isn't impaired. So, again, that's another way um, you could figure out if she's into you. I think I always go, and I did a video about this on Instagram a couple days ago, Instagram peeps. Um, I always go, um, I go on my gut feeling, and if your gut feeling is that you've been ghosted, you've probably been ghosted. But if you are with an older woman, go ahead and ask her. Uh, let's see. The CKA said mostly a 900 call for a booty call. Exactly. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, where were we here? Okay. So what's with this? Just getting used to all these. Okay. Bad man, bad bad, bad man. How long do I ha have after making eye contact with an older woman to approach her before it gets too awkward? Before it gets awkward, lol. I think you asked me the same question yesterday, and I think it's the same answer, which is try to make the eye contact and then make your move. Don't wait too long. Uh, it just it will get awkward if you wait there all night long and finally, you know, get the courage to you know, wear your big boy pants and go up and talk to her. Just go up and talk to her. Uh, Case Mitty, I'm early. I don't know. I, I'm trying to get 11 o'clock wherever I am. Uh, mostly 900 o'clock. Okay. Ma'am, my wife is much into... Okay, so submissive man wants to go into the cuckold thing. Let's wait on that until we do a cuckold discussion, okay? Uh, let's see. Lloyd, hey. Uh, Omar. Can we see the yoga pants? No, we're not doing the yoga pant thing today. Um, I'm just having a book club today. So, all right, back to um, questions about how do you know if she's into you, what you should do, um, how do you know if she's blowing you off, any of that kind of stuff. And if you're on uh, Instagram or YouTube, make sure that you give the thumbs up if you like this video, and if not, uh, just leave the leave. <laughs> what are some of the most common clues that a woman is into you? Is a giggle and an, in, an indication? Cherry boy, yeah. Laughing at your jokes is definitely an indication that she's into you. Um, and I'm glad you switched it over to what are the positive signs. The positive signs are, and uh, again, I'm going to do uh, another video on body language, but I've done that in the past. Um, body language is super important to read. If she's into you, she's going to be giving you good eye contact. She's going to be smiling at you. She's going to be flicking her hair back and forth. Um, maybe touch you. If she touches you, it's an awesome sign. Um, what else? Uh, there's a lot of ways that you could tell that she's into you. Uh, another way I would think is if she says, you know, she'd like to see you again. Uh, anything like, you know, verbally, if she's coming right out and telling you, obviously, but yeah, giggling, touching, flirting, any of that stuff is a very good sign. Again, if you want more uh, direction, go to my website, KarenLeePoter.com, and order my How to Catch a Cougar video. I don't know if you guys are all aware of it, but I do uh, some videos on my website. How to Catch a Cougar is, the, is my latest one, and I've got a couple others that I have on there. Um, how to Get Your Ex Back, um, that's with... A cougar expert, my friend Lucia, and uh, I think you'll all enjoy those um, video downloads. So just check them out and order them for you. It's your gift to yourself. Hi from Scotland. That's cool. I love talking to people from all over the world. This is very very cool. Uh, everybody wants to know about this yoga pants. I am going to go to yoga later. Uh, watch Benicio de del Toro in the Heineken commercial. Okay, why? Uh, Paul, uh, she touches you and flicks her hair. Definitely. Uh, you're welcome, submissive man. Uh, cherry boy, we laugh at all of your jokes. 
Uh, okay. Yes, if she laughs at your jokes, um, she's into you. Should older women really take dating seriously? Um, that's journey trails and joy if they have children. Um, well, what does that mean? Should they take dating seriously? Of course. They're gonna, even if they have children, they're, not, they're still human beings that want to have a relationship. So absolutely, you can, and, and I'm a perfect example of that because I had kids when I met my boyfriend and, you know, we've been together nine and a half years and, um, you know, they, they're part of his life as well. So um, definitely you could take a person seriously if they have kids or not. It's just that your priority, the way she prioritizes you might be different than a single woman who doesn't have any other um, people that depend on her. So you can understand that being with children is going to be much more difficult to have, uh, you know, spontaneity and all that kind of stuff and be able to see each other as much because the children are top priority. This particular guy, Chris, um, the woman has five kids. I mean, I'd kill myself. <laughs> so I, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't kill myself. But having five kids would make it very difficult to have a relationship, but you can still have one and, you know, depending on... Um, you, you know, how much you want to have kids or whatever, uh, it could be a blessing to not have to have your own kids and just enjoy hers. Uh, my book, Brendan, um, this book that I just talked about, it, um, I'm going to have the link in the description box below. It's called She's Just Not Into You by Greg Behrendt and Liz Tutilio. Um, and again, it's She's Not Just Not in, That Into You, but I think it applies to men as well. Um, okay. Uh, Cherry Boy said, I meant a random giggle, not at your jokes. So if you walk past her and she giggles, uh, you know, that's, that's a tough one. I don't know. I mean, I think you have to go on your gut feeling or maybe just, again, approach her, see what happens. Remember, if you approach someone, the worst that can happen is they'll say, I'm not into you. I'm in a co private conversation or whatever. Big deal. You cannot take anything personally. You cannot let anybody make you feel bad about yourself, especially if it has nothing to do with you. You might walk up to 10 girls and nine of them reject you, but the 10th the one may be the one. So again, I still want you to remember Don Miguel Ruiz's four agreements. Be impeccable to your word. Don't assume anything. Don't take anything personally and try your best. So that, that let this third one, don't take anything personally, is where we're at right now. Don't take anything personally. Um, make, I mean, men are kind of black and white, right? So if you're getting this, she's just not into you thing, move on. Don't, don't kiss her ass. I mean, you'll find that she'll come chasing after you and then you'll realize, and, and if she comes chasing after you, then you could say, hey, I just thought you weren't into me. You didn't respond to my text. You didn't make any overtures. You didn't want to go on dates with me. And so maybe she'll say, yeah, I've been swamped or whatever, you know? So it, I just think honesty and clarity is such a great thing in relationships that I would just come right out and say it. And you could be wrong. And thank you for all the likes on Instagram. I really appreciate those little hearts and, and everything else and all that kind of good stuff. Um, you can't see my face. Oh, I think you couldn't see my face because I unfortunately went to look at that email. Okay. The law of averages. Exactly. Exactly. Kush Kennedy. Um, uh, let's, uh oh, that's the little guy making his presence known. Uh, spoonerism official. I'm from Germany. My English is not well. How did I get, how do I get success if I'm overweight? I try so much. I almost try to contact a hundred, like a hundred women and they all, they are not interested. Good question. Good question, and um, first of all, don't apologize. Your English is just fine, Spoonerism official. Uh, being overweight is a problem. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell you that it's not. Um, unfortunately, most women, and men for that matter too, I, it, most people are superficial, and they can't see behind, beyond to the inner person. So with that being said, why are you overweight? Is it a medical condition? If it is, go talk to a doctor about seeing what you can do. If it's just that you haven't had time to work out, start working out. 
I know it's a pain in the ass, but it will help you so much in the long run. Um, again, if it's something mentally that you just have to eat because you're depressed, fix that. Um, I'm not saying that you don't have a chance with overweight women. I mean, with if you're overweight, and a lot of women don't mind it, but it is it is a problem um, if you define yourself as being overweight. So I guess the question is, why are you overweight? And um, if there's anything that you can do about it, but at the same token, how do you find a woman that loves you for you no matter what your weight is? And that's a lot harder. I guess um, you might also look for women that are overweight because they maybe they won't be as judgmental. Although I once interviewed two people, they were both overweight, and individually each one said they weren't into the other one because the other person was overweight. So <laughs> um, I guess it's one of those things that you can't help who you're attracted to. Uh, and I'd love to tell you, you know, that there are plenty of women out there that can see beyond the overweight part, but um, I, could, I would ask you guys if, if you are into, mass, you know, overweight women. I mean, it, it's a good question, though, and I would be happy to talk to you more about this whole thing on my Patreon, which I haven't talked about today, but Patreon is a way you can support me. And um, it's patreon.com slash Karen Lee Potter. Check it out. I just uh, wrote it here, and I could pin it here, too. Uh, Patreon.com slash Karen Lee Potter, and you'll find that that is a really good way. What the heck just happened there? <laughs> uh, just That's a good way to reach me, Patreon.com. Just check it out. Just go there and look at it and let me know what you guys think. How do I make my wife not to be overly jealous? GSXR. Um, jealousy comes from a fear, a fear of losing you. So check into why she's afraid and why she's fearful and why she's not secure with you. I mean... I'm not saying it's your fault, but find out from her what's going on, why she's feeling, I mean, you're married to her. What gives her the impression that you would ever leave her for somebody else? If she's confident in herself, she should not have to be worried about you flirting with some other girl or whatever. I mean, listen, um, my boyfriend loves to flirt with other women. I could care less. I flirt with other guys. So, I mean, you have to be secure with yourself in your relationship, but I, I would think you should communicate with it, that with her. hope that helps. Um, uh, GSXR. Okay. Where were we on YouTube? Okay. Should I use Tinder? I always ask on the streets and the bars. Um, I would think you could use all the, all the media. You can use Match.com or any of those Cougar Life, if you want to do that, my it's on my website, KarenLeePoter.com. Uh, but I would try every avenue. I would try getting fixed up because people that know you might want to be fixing you up because they'll say, oh, he's such a great guy. He's a little overweight. Give him a chance, you know. And once your personality shines through, maybe you'll find more women that are going to be into you. But I would not, um, yeah, use Tinder. I mean, it's, especially if a girl swipes right I don't know if it's swipe right or left, but whatever. If she swipes that she wants you and she sees you on Tinder as being overweight, that's a really good way to meet someone who doesn't give a shit about weight, right? I, I would say just try everything. Joys and trials and joy. I'm a single guy at 33. I don't see myself having kids past 35. Maybe I'm being negative, but you shouldn't bring kids into the world if you're going to die before they get old. Um. Okay, that's your choice. I don't know if I... Would agree with it, but okay. Um, thank you, submissive man, for saying I look lovely. Um, oh, Brendan, my my book is on my website, KarenLeePoter.com. It's called um, a, uh, a Cougar's Guide to Getting Your Ass Back Out There. And uh, again, uh, it applies to both men and women. Cherry boy, you don't take it personally. Good, do not take it personally. Uh, so should relationships be taken seriously about anything or shouldn't, and uh, about anything shouldn't be about sex at this at that point sucks because I waited my whole life for sex, but I'm disappointed by the lack of morals. 
Should, should, so should relationships be taken seriously about anything? Yes, relationships should definitely be taken seriously. Um, let's see. Okay. You're, you're disillusioned with the quality of people out there. Okay, so get out there and find the right person. The more positive energy you bring out, the more likely you're going to find somebody. I'm just going to call you Journey. Um, even what you're writing, it sounds like you've already been disillusioned and negative, and that energy is so transparent. People see beyond, if you think it, you're, you know, you're putting on a good act or whatever, people see that. So, I mean, what is the aura that you're getting off of me? Are you getting this negativity or are you getting positivity? If you're getting positivity, that might be because I'm a positive person. And, you, and that is why I feel like in life, you've got to grasp every day and make it the best you can be and, and make it the best it can be. And you will find yourself... Mm -hmm. in a way better position with women. Uh, I like my boss. How can I approach her and tell her how I feel? Uh, the Yan. Go and do it. Just, you know, I think the only thing is when you're at work, you got to think about the consequences. So if you're at work and you decided that you are interested in your boss and it doesn't work out after you guys have gone out on a couple dates, you may be... Mess, messing with your job. So, because jobs are very difficult to find, especially jobs that you love, I would be very careful about starting relationships with someone unless you knew that once it broke up, you still have your job or it wouldn't be awkward. So that's the only thing I have to say about being with someone who is at work. Now, how do you approach her and tell her how you feel? Go get my video, How to Catch a Cougar, uh, because I give you step-by-step seven steps how to do that. That being said, I believe in honesty and just ask her out. Ask her out for like a benign thing like, hey, you want to get a cup of coffee after work or a drink or something. You don't even have to tell her that you're interested in her as anything more than just a friend and see how that goes. That's what I would probably do first. I have such a tickle at my nose today. Um, okay. Good morning to the following people. Uh, David Davis and Gary. Uh, as the quote from Rocky would say, don't be negative, question mark. Exactly. I missed you too, Gary. Okay. Um, yeah, I was on the road. For those of you who missed my live stream where I explained why I was MIA for so long, um, I was traveling from Los Angeles to Chicago with two dogs and my son. It was a long, long journey. Is it okay? Okay, here's a question from Smart Film Beast. Is it okay to date a woman that's 15 years older? Yes, of course it is. Age is a number. My boyfriend is much younger than me, and it's been very wonderful for nine and a half years. So, yes, do not worry about that stuff. Uh, we see your face just fine, and you are so pretty. Thank you. Oh, okay, parent. Okay, so his name is Garrett. I'm sorry. Uh, it's it, there's I got so much going on here. I got the Instagram peeps. I got you guys. Uh, Mr. Pirate Brain says, Mr. Wise Pirate Brain, random superficial question. I know some uh, someone has thought of if you are in a room with a hundred women that you would rate from one to ten, would your chance increase if you started from top down or bottom up? <laughs> oh, that's a random question, Mr. Pirate Brain. What do you think? I, of course, would start from the top. I would go right for the, the one I'm interested in the most. And and I think your chances would increase as you... I don't know. I, I think... Yeah, I it, it would depend on if these people are watching you go from 1 to 100. Um, but I would try for the one that you're really interested in. My wife is 16 years older than me. Great. And and uh, that's Major Tom. Awesome. And And how long have you been married? What does your t-shirt say? The t-shirt is honky tonk. This is uh, from Nashville, one of my favorite places. If you guys ever have a chance to go to Nashville, it is so fun, especially if you love music. If you like live music, I would go to Nashville. Uh, Mr. Pirate Brain, what, let me know what you thought about your question. Cherry Boy, Karen, what's your, what's your view of the pickup artist and men going their own way? 
in MG Toe communities. Uh, interesting question, Cherry Boy. I actually um, am friends with some pickup artists, and um, I don't, I, I can't stand most of the pickup y lines and shit like that, and the peacocking and the negating, and I'm not a big fan of any of that. Uh, however, um, if you take away all that bullshit, I think the bottom line is that pickup artists are trying to teach guys to be more assertive and confident and that kind of stuff, which I agree with. So does that answer your question about the pickup artists? Um, Cherry Boy. Uh, you want to stick to bars, Brendan? That's cool. Paul said, I was 40 and 42 when my daughters were born. At those ages, I was more mature in raising them. Yeah. So don't worry about when you have your kids. Uh, worry about the love that you could give them. Because I agree with you that the older you are, the more mature you're going to be. Oh, Mr. Pyropane, you agree with me. Okay, good. Uh, Tiffany, how you doing? Relationship is a beautiful thing. There you go. So that answers. We're coming full circle to the person that said, why don't I just go with a sexual thing? Um, because relationships are too hard. And they're not too hard. It's just that you have to find the right person. Um, okay. And great535 says, what's your job? I am now a full-time YouTuber, author, and podcaster. Um, I wouldn't say that uh, it's a humongously lucrative job, but it's very gratifying for me to be able to talk to so many people from around the world and to help people and to inspire and to um, entertain and have fun. And as I say that, my time here is running up. So, um, yeah, Mr. Pirate Brain, back to your question about starting from the bottom up would be a lack of confidence in, that's right. Um, okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. If you have any comments, my lips are hot. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section on Instagram and YouTube, but especially YouTube. Um, I love comments and I would love suggestions for future episodes and I would love to have your likes. If you're watching this later on, make sure to give them thumbs up. This today's book will be linked in the description box and it's called, he's just not that into you. They may have a girl's version of it, which I will put on there as well. Um, but this book really helped me a lot when I was single because it gave me like some definite, well, I got to believe it. If it's, if it's in this book. And it's a something like, um, if she's not calling you, it's because you are not on her mind. This is very helpful. Okay? It's black and white. So, love you all. And have a great day. See you tomorrow. And um, uh, what else do I want to say? Uh, keep spreading the love. All right. Talk to you then. Hope everybody's good.